Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. I am not a Supreme Court judge, but I am a wine judge. And I am going to be judging President Trump's, one of his wines from his winery, which is in Charlottesville, Virginia. Here it is, 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon. 13% ABV. Uh, apple, um, it's grown in the Monticello region and is very close to Thomas Jefferson's Monticello estate. Uh, Virginia has a rich, rich history of wine, both growing and the interest that both. Uh, well, certainly Thomas Jefferson was a giant uh, wine enthusiast and really contributed um, to the whole wine thing in Virginia. If you want to look that up, it's very interesting. Um, Trump's winery was planted in 1999. It consists of 1,300 acres. It's the biggest winery, at least landmass wise, in Virginia. Uh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Um, they grow a lot of vinifera, French vinifera grapes, the um, noble grapes that you always think of in France, the Cabernet, the Merlot, many of those grapes like that. Um, and so uh, we will be trying this. This is the President's, and uh, President's, uh, I know um, uh, not only Thomas Jefferson, but uh, George Washington was a giant uh, <clears throat> enthusiast of wine. So there are a lot of presidents interested in it. Here's the little top, it's got a little T on it, silver. Uh, and let's open it up. And today I picked out a special glass too. So I'm gonna give this every chance. Um, if you look at this cool glass, it's got a wine in it, and, uh, excuse me, hand-blown. And it's got um, hand-blown grape, red. You put the pour the wine to the top of that, and then that'd be a nice pour. Uh, so. Cork, real cork. It's got 2016 on it. And let's get started, shall we? What I'm going to be having with this tonight is uh, lobster ravioli with Italian sausage in a red sauce. All right, I'm going to try this now, and I'm going to cook that, and then I'm going to finish the wine with food. All right. Smells really good. Let's give it a rough pour. Just open it up a little bit. This is 2016. There it is, to the top of the glass. Let's give that a minute to open up. Uh, don't know what percent, I uh, didn't see it when I was researching this a little bit, of Cabernet this is. I'm sure there's some Merlot in here uh, to soften it up. I'm not sure what else uh, would be in here. Um, tucked in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains where Thomas Jefferson first had a vision to make America's finest wines. Trump Winery has crafted a terroir-driven collection from, uh, from the Monticello, Monticello region. Uh, this classic Cabernet shows, uh, we'll dis discuss that. Um, I'll tell you, if you haven't been to Virginia, to the wine country, it's uh, it's definitely worth a try, uh, worth a visit. A lot of fine wines coming out there. A lot of enthusiasts too of uh, Virginia wines. Very nice. Mm. Well, here's the color, right? Dark, dark red. I'll just call it dark red. And I'm getting a lot of good dark fruit out of this. Um, A lot of plum, a lot of cherry. Kind of a mix of like a sweet cherry, a dark sweet cherry, and a tart cherry. Mm, a little bit of oak. A little bit of floral. It's very, got a very nice bouquet to it, very nice smell to it. Um, very pleasing. And while I'm still letting this open up a little bit, talk about it, this would make a great gift. It'd be a great gift for different kind of parties, uh, 4th of July, uh, President's Day, um, 
a Trump lover, a Trump hater if you want to screw with them. A lot of applications for this. Uh, there is, there's a lot of applications for this one. Uh, but you should try it. It's the President's Wine, it's the President's Winery, it's, it's kind of unique. Got a jammy quality now. Kind of a dark fruit jam. Let's taste it. I'm anxious to really give this a taste. You know, it's a little thin on the mouthfeel. The alcohol is 13, so it's it's about 13.5 up to 15 would be high. Uh, so it's on the lower side of normal for the ABV. Uh, probably gives the mouthfeel a little bit of um, you know watery as opposed to a little thicker mouthfeel. But um, it's got a uh, uh, the, the cherry or the cherry, but the dark fruits come in. I don't like to pick fruits too much just because everybody's palate's a little different, but I think most people are going to get the, uh, the dark fruits, the plum, the cherries, maybe some berries, stuff like that. They may get strawberry, but it's a little different. You're going to get fruit. It's very fruity. I taste a little bit of that. It's very tannic on the back end, uh, like the what's in tea, the tannin, which tells me if this would age a little longer. It's 2016. Probably another two, three years to soften that up a little bit. Or if I put it in the canner and left it out at least 20 minutes. I didn't do that. I should have. But also change and open it up a little bit and soften those uh, those tannins. Um, get a little oak out of it. Um, so there's a little complexity to it. Yeah. It'd be good. Excellent. It's made for food. This would be excellent with food. It's going to be good tonight with my red sauce, with my uh, lobster ravioli and sausage, Italian sausage. But man, would this be good with burgers or any type of meat. A nice grilled steak would be fantastic with this. So, um, I'd like to take a trip out here to this country and, and do some great videos. I may do that. I don't know if anything uh, right now is open. Um, right now we happen to be going through the... Um, you know, our little virus stage here, but, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to, uh, do a trip and, uh, hit this winery and many of the other, other great wineries that are located in the state of Virginia. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to judge this wine. Very good.